Hi everyone and welcome to Nicole Studios. Today's effect is the 3D Instagram pop-out effect. It's a really cool effect to add to your Instagram. So we're going to call this a pop-out effect Instagram and just go with the basic parameters that are already on the project. Now for your footage, you're going to want three clips. One with you acting out a throwing motion of throwing some sort of object. The next one is going to be one with that object dangling in front of a green screen. I used a piece of thread and tied it and then just kind of had it twirl in front of that green screen. And the third is a screen recording or screenshot of Instagram. So once you've pulled those three clips into your project, you're going to want to start editing. So the first step of all of this is to scale your video from Instagram. So once you've scaled that up, you're going to drag that clip underneath the clip of you acting. And now it's time to scale the clip of you acting. So I scaled it so it would fit inside that box where the actual post was, but you can make it tinier or bigger depending on the size that your post was. So once I have fit that in, then I'm going to go and crop the sides to fit in the size of the post. So now you'll see at the end of the video, we have the problem with the scrolling clip. So first go and find the position where you're about to start scrolling but you haven't yet and add a keyframe at the position. Then go a frame forward and adjust the location of your video layer. And then go another frame forward and adjust it again. And once you've done it and your video is off the screen, then you no longer need to keyframe it. It's just to get it off the screen. So now that the video is out, we're going to add the keyer to our layer with the sunglasses in front of the green screen. Now we're going to crop the sides to get rid of any of the unwanted fuzz and stuff that would affect our key later on and then we're going to bring it into our video. So look at the part where your object that you throw is almost off the screen and add that layer on top of it. Now I'm gonna adjust the rotation because the way that it was shot did not make sense for how it was falling. So I just rotated it to fit the way that it had originally fallen. Now, as you'll see, I didn't really like the way it was rotating. So I decided to reverse the clip and I thought that that looked better animation wise. And then we're going to make it faster because I thought that the faster looked better if it had been thrown out of the clip. And then I'm just looking and seeing how to best match up these two images so that it looks normal. I want to blade the first little part of it, so go a few frames in and do Command B to blade the clip. And the reason we're doing this is to add on the Gaussian blur so that it will match the blur that was already on the object as it was falling. So I added about 22.68 and then as you'll see it looks a lot better with the blur on it. And then I'm just going to go in and use the transform tools to kind of make it match the object that was following better. Now I'm also going to add the Gaussian blur to my background clip and first we're going to have an amount of about 16 and add keyframe there. And then go a few frames forward to where the blur is on the sunglasses and then we're going to change the amount to zero. Now I'm going to take all of the clips except for the green screen one with the sunglasses and create a new compound clip with them just to make the timeline a little bit more clean to look at. And then I'm going to add another blade to where the scrolling effect starts. As that scrolling effect starts we're going to want to add on a zoom blur and then we'll decrease the amount to about 17 and then I'm also going to blade the sunglasses layer as it starts falling so I will add on another Gaussian blur and just add a little bit on and then the last thing is to add some color correction so just add whatever color correction you want and then you are good to go and that is the effect I hope you enjoyed watching this tutorial and if you enjoyed this and want to see more then I would really appreciate it if you hit that subscribe button down below, hit that like button, and thank you so much for watching, and have a great day.